Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I'm really excited to be able to share with you my love of journaling, journals, making TNs and journals. And I have quite a collection by now. And I just wanted to share with you this flip through of this one that I made uh, several years ago. And I want to give you all the information about how this was made. This, um, I think it was around 2019, I went to a doodlebug retreat at their headquarters in Utah. The classes were all taught by Susie from Susie West Designs, also known as Susie George on uh, Facebook. You paid for the retreat and you also could get extra items added on to your basic kit. So we did this, uh, this was one of the things offered was decorating this TN and this year Doodlebug had come out with their own TNs which stands for Traveler's Notebook. This design is from their Hello collection so all the papers you see inside go along with that collection. So some of this was done in class and some of it I have done myself. For instance when I got home I made this charm here that's using a Rumacube tile. I just love it. And this is paper from the collection and these are, uh, these are add-ons from the collection. So let's open it up and look. There are pockets here. I bought these uh, Doodlebug jelly uh, paper clips and I had also, I knew ahead of time that we were doing this Hello collection. And so I had ordered like the whole paper collection kit. And this was my name badge for the event, and I just put that in here, and I put all of this in here as a decoration. Now this insert, uh, we decorated the front of it in class, isn't that cute? And we put this here, this little pocket. And then I went and I added clear pockets with more of the ephemera right there. And also, this, I believe, was done in class. I believe that was. Isn't that cute? I just went ahead and added extra ephemera bits here and there throughout that, and I added tabs like this. And um, stickers, washi, I added all those little bits. And this is like a gratitude kind of journal here I'm doing, and I'm using the colors that go along with this. They gave us this one jelly clip in glass and I added the organza ribbon on the top. And so you'll see I added uh, these as well and this tag right here. This is the next um, insert. We decorated the front here using Doodlebug. Um, and this, isn't that cute? Very cute. And I added this, and again, I added another clear pocket with more ephemera. On this one, inside of it, we also decorated that in class. And I, this is more of the jelly clips that I bought, oops. <laughs> and again, I'm journaling and I'm, I'm using washi. I use some of the ephemera pieces to make a tab. I love tabs on my journal. Now this piece here, it's one piece, it goes around this insert, it's this and this. And this was Julie's idea, was to take acetate sheets and fold it over, make a shaker pocket here, and then use this zipper from a, a Ziploc bag to put on the end of the acetate, and then you have a pocket here. So I was able to put these in there and make a shaker. Um, this insert, I put this tab sticking out. I made this thing here because I loved having that there. We did this in class, I believe. I'm not positive, but... And then I added another pocket here with another um, ephemera bit. And then I added this, washi, more tabs, more washi. You can see I like putting those on there. And then in the end, I also made these. These are spine, they're, they're um, a clear sticker for the spine of a, uh, like a, like a three ring binder kind of thing. And you can buy these on Amazon, for instance. And so I just put that sticker on cardstock. 
I put shaker bits in there, and the cardstock is from the collection. I put shaker bits in there, and I sealed the top and used another doodle bug thing on the top. Love it. And this is another shaker, but it's made with acetate that I sealed the top on that. Very fun. And when I got home, I also made this pen. Now this is also doodle bug paper, and it is the same that's right here. And I will give you links underneath this video to all of the uh, how to do this, how to do your own pen to match your journal. Unfortunately, Doodlebug doesn't carry the Traveler's Notebooks anymore, but you can still find some in shops. Usually the gold one is what's left. And I will also give you a link to Julie's video on how to make this zipper pouch with the shaker thing right over here. It is phenomenal. So when people ask why I'm so in love with journals, this is a reason why. It is so beautiful, so chunky. I love the extras, the, the bits and the pieces and the doodads, and I just think it's so perky, and it cheers me up just looking at it. And even if I never wrote in it, I would consider this an art book. It's lovely to flip through. I can keep adding to it. I can keep adding more of the ephemera and the stickers um, on other pages. Thank you for watching, and I will give you links down below.